In this video, we're going to reveal a secret menu on the Raspberry Pi Imager application that allows you to perform pre-configuration for things such as Wi-Fi, changing your host name, changing your password. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so we're just going to download Raspberry Pi Imager. So I went to raspberrypi.com forward slash software, and I'm just going to do download for Mac OS. Again, this is how you flash Raspberry Pi OS to your micro SD card. Okay, and then here's Raspberry Pi Imager, so I'll go ahead and open it. Okay, so to open this menu on Mac, we're gonna do Control Shift X. Control Shift X. Okay, and now we get these advanced settings here. So let's do a couple things. Let's go ahead and change the host name. So out of the box, the host name is Raspberry Pi or Raspberry Pi dot local. Let's change this to refactored. Let's go ahead and enable SSH and let's change the password. As always, if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button so we get it out to a wider audience. Thank you. And let's go ahead and configure Wi-Fi here. So this is my router name, my SSID, AKA network name. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my password. Okay, and then I will set my country code. Let's do US and I'm going to go ahead and save these options here. Okay, so let's format our micro SD card. So we're gonna choose our variant of Raspberry Pi OS. I like the standard installation here. And then we're gonna go ahead and select our micro SD card. Be mindful here, you, you will reformat whatever drive you select, so um, be careful. All right, so this is my 32 gigabyte micro SD card that we inserted, and let's go ahead and write it. Okay, so we finished formatting our SD card. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue, and then I'm gonna take my SD card out of the computer Okay, so we finished running the operating system to the SD card, so I'm gonna go ahead and eject, just make sure. So I can take this out, then I'll pull out the micro SD card, and then we will insert it into our Raspberry Pi Zero. And then I'm going to just power it um, via a standard USB cable. We want the farmhouse port that is reserved for power and it will immediately boot up and then we will try connecting to it. Okay, so now we can do ping to determine if the um, Raspberry Pi is connected to our local network. So I named uh, the device, I changed the host name to refactored uh, and I'm gonna tack on dot local because there's some funky stuff that goes on with DNS and that helps um, with the routing if we add .local. Okay, so we see ping messages being responded to. That's promising. So we should be able to SSH right into our device. And again, we're gonna use um, the new password. So I'm gonna do SSH pi at refactored .local. And then it's going to ask if we want to use an RSA fingerprint. We're going to say yes, please. Uh, yes. And then we're going to use a new password. So type that in. All right. So now we're in our Raspberry Pi and we utilize the pre-configuration advanced settings option in Raspberry Pi Imager. If you want to stay apprised of the latest around emerging tech such as IoT, Google Cloud Platform, then go ahead and click that subscribe button so you stay in the loop as we publish new content. Thanks.